day everyone. Welcome to our podcast. I'm Angeline Onarse, your host for today. Today we will talk about the one of the challenges of science and technology that affects our society, which is global warming. So what do you think is global warming? What are the causes and effects? What are the possible solutions? So in this podcast, our guest will give us an answer to those questions. I will introduce to all of you our first guest, environmental scientist, Mr. Manila. Hi guys. So Mr. Manila, what is global warming? Let me explain to you what is global warming. Global warming is a phenomenon of climate change. It is characterized by a general increase in an average temperature of the Earth. Oh, which is modifies the weather balance and ecosystem for a long time, right? Yes, exactly. It is directly linked to the increase of greenhouse gases in our atmosphere, worsening the greenhouse effect. Also, another thing I want to add is, global warming is a long-term heating of Earth's climate system, observed since pre-industrial period between 1850 and 1900s due to human activities, primarily fossil fuel burning, when increases heat trapping greenhouse gas level in the Earth's atmosphere. Thank you, Mr. Manila. Thank you, Miss, and thank you for inviting me here. It's a pleasure to be here. Our next guests here today are professionals in global warming and their students. Miss Castro, Miss Custodio, Miss Panganiban, and Mr. Abanes. Hi. Hi. Hello. So, Miss Castro, what are the causes of global warming in our society? The causes of global warming in our society are burning fossil fuels, deforestation, natural forest fire, volcanic eruption, solar flares, agricultural and farming. Oh, how does those become a causes? Well, when burning fossil fuels like coal is burned, it releases carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases. While deforestation causes great loss of trees that can result in climate change and global warming. And natural forest fire emits carbon-filled smoke in the atmosphere, resulting in a high temperature. Another cause would be volcanic eruptions. These natural phenomenon eject greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, which promotes global warming. Aside from that, we have the occurrence of sunspots and solar flares. This phenomenon restricts the passing of solar plasma that gives off radiation to our planet from the sun. And lastly, agriculture and farming. In order for us to cope up with our worldwide meat demand, large amounts of meat have to be produced on a daily basis. Intensive farming, not only with the ever-increasing livestock, but also with fertilizers and plant protection products like insecticides. Oh then, what about the effect of global warming in our society? Human health effects includes effects from the extreme weather leading to losses of lives and injuries and also adverse effects from undernutrition due to the crop failures. Next, we have the rise of sea levels. The global sea levels are rising due to global warming which destroys the habitat for several plants, animals, and also for us, the humans. Next is the increase in heat waves. It results to many other problems, including shortage of drinking water in many poor countries. So we have the stress in ecosystem. The increasing temperature of the earth contributes to the continuous stressing of ecosystem, which affects the survival of different species, which is created when pollution from cars, factories, and other resources react to sunlight and heat. Thank you for the information. So, our last special guest for today are students in TIP Manila, and they will share their insights. Mr. Dato Otto, Mr. Galvez, Mr. Oliveros, and Ms. Kalinga. We are honored to be here. So, Mr. Galvez, what are the possible solutions of global warming in our society? So, 
first, we need to plan trees. Deforestation is the most cost-effective way to prevent global warming. Trees absorb carbon dioxide, so planting more trees can help reduce the amount of carbon in our atmosphere. We also need to conserve energy. Most of the energy that we consume is produced from the burning of fossil fuels. During this process, greenhouse gases are released into the atmosphere. Gases that contribute to the artificial warming of our planet. And by conserving our energy, we will reduce the level of fossil fuels that we burn. Thus, we can also reduce the level of greenhouse gas released into the atmosphere. Recycling and sustainable. Adapting an ethical consumption habits is essential, whether it is food, clothing, cosmetics, or cleaning good. Recycling is a must when dealing with waste. Future generations need to ensure the availability of resources. Sustainability improves our quality, quality of our lives, protects our ecosystem, and preserves natural resources of our future. You know what? To treat your water, it takes a lot of energy to pump and heat. That's why saving water reduces carbon pollution. By doing these simple things like taking shower, turning off the tap while brushing your teeth, and switching to more efficient devices can be a great help. So when you or people try to focus even on these simple things, we will all be just surprised that a lot changed so much. Don't wait for others to do these things because change start with you and ourselves. I think it is really important to do those because global warming will cause significant harm to health of persons. Thanks to our guests for our podcast today as I am really honored for you all to be here. All of the information that we've got today are incredible. Thank you too for having us here and for this conversation. Alright guys, see you next time. That's it for our podcast today.